Okay, we're going to now look at uh, chapter two. Chapter two is on functions. Before we look at this uh, this chapter in detail, what we have to do is look at mappings before we look at functions. Because to know what a function is, you really need to know what mappings are and the different types of you know mappings that you might have, and then which ones might be a function. Okay, so first of all, I've asked you to draw um, mapping diagrams or a mapping diagram and a graph for uh, the rule. Add two to the set. Notice the brackets here, I guess it's like a bracket, but with the, it goes in the point out bit and around. Probably there must be a proper name for that. Uh, minus one, one, two, four, and x. So let's start off with the mapping diagram. So uh, first thing is you're going to have set A and you're going to have set B. So set A is a bit like your input. Okay, so you've got minus one, one, two. It's terrible. I'm going to have to draw it again properly. It's a bit easier whenever we're doing it on the page. <laughs> right, so set A, let's put, the, let's put the numbers in first. So you've got minus one, one, two, four, and X. And then you draw a bubble around that. And then you've got set B, which is your output. This is your inputs. Uh, your inputs you call the domain. Okay, so this is a word you're going to see a lot in C3, domain. Okay, it's like your inputs. Okay, uh, your set B is going to be what happens whenever you do the rule. Okay, so it's going to be a bit like your outputs. So we're going to add two, add two, add two, add two, and add two. So add two would be one, add two would be three, add two would be four, add two would be six, and add two would be x plus two. You then do another sort of bubble around that. Again, much easier on a page. And then you do arrows to show which one goes to which one. So you sort of do a bit like this. A bit like that. And you do an arrow. An arrow. And that is a mapping diagram, okay? Uh, the inputs, uh, so to speak, are your uh, is your domain, uh, the values you put in. A bit like on a coordinate grid, that would be your x values, the numbers you put in. Uh, the range is what you get out. So this is called the range. These two terms here you will hear a lot. Um, you tend not to, in the exams, have to draw one of these mapping diagrams, okay? But if they do ask you to draw one, this would it would look like, okay? Um, the domain would be your input, and the range then would be your answer, okay? Draw a graph for that, okay? What you would do is you draw the graph x plus 2, okay? Or you'd plot these coordinates uh, minus 1 across, 1 up, 1 across, 3 up, 2 across, 4 up, 4 across, 6 up. And then that would be the graph y equals x plus 2, okay? Uh, notice this is what you're going across, which you're going up, it's a bit like x and y. Your domain is what you put in, your range is what you get out. So if you were to do that, you would draw your graph, okay? To draw the graph, you'd plot the coordinates. Minus 1, 1, um, 1, 3, you get the idea. Um, 2, 4, and, oh, I can't, it's quite hard to plot these on here. Uh, 1, 4. Uh, or sorry, two, four, four, six, and then you draw a line through that. That's, oh, that is awful. You draw a line through it with a ruler, all the rest of it, and that would be the graph x plus two. That is awful. Okay, but you get the idea. Okay. Important thing: domain, input, range, output. Okay, this time we're going to draw a mapping diagram for the operation square the set minus one, one, two. 4 and x. Oh, we're not going to draw the graph this time, given my amazing success last time. So, uh, <laughs> input, so your domain, minus 1, 1, 2, 4, and x. And a good bubble around this, circle around this. And let's then do your um, outputs or your answers, okay? So, minus 1 squared, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1. 1 squared, 1 times 1 is, oh, is 1 as well, okay, so you can just keep the answer there, 1. Uh, 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 squared is 16, and x squared is x squared. Okay, draw your bubble around that. Notice I only wrote the 1 once there, okay, this, you don't need to in these mapping diagrams write the same number more than once, okay. Uh, again, you draw your arrows on, so minus 1 goes to 1. Um, my uh, 1 also goes to 1, okay, uh, 2 goes to 4, 4 goes to 16, and x goes to x squared. Okay, uh, this is your domain, okay, which you're putting in. 
This is your range. 